All right, in this question, we are asked to find how long it's going to take a stone to hit the ground. So we have a function here, and it's so throw, stone is thrown downward. So I, I must be at a cliff or something. And I'm up here, I throw a stone downward. And it looks like this path is a parabolic one that's defined by that function. Um, initial velocity, all of that stuff would be involved in the formula. Um, then they say from a height of 294, so I'm sitting 294 meters up, how long will it take the stone to hit the ground? So S of T, that there is the distance. So T stands for time. They say that in there, T stands for time. And S of T would be the distance after a certain length of time. So I'm wanting to know how long how long it takes for the thing to hit the ground if I'm throwing it from 294 feet. So this has to be my distance. I'm plugging that in there. So I'll have 294 is equal to 4.9 t squared plus 34.3 t. It's a quadratic, so I'm going to bring everything over to one side and make it equal to 0, 34.3 t minus 294. So it's a quadratic, so at this point I try and factor it. The number out front doesn't look that good. Um, I could use a quadratic formula, or I could, if I'm lucky, uh, be able to divide um, all these terms by a certain number. I'm just going to take, take a shot at that. So I'm going to divide this and this and this all by 4.9 and see if it comes out even. Uh, hopefully. So 4.9 divided by 4.9 would just be t squared plus okay, 34.3 divide 4.9. Whoops. Uh, delete. Ah. Oh, my calculator's going funny. 34.3 divide 4.9. Oh, it comes out to 7. Nice. Minus 294 divide 4.9, 60. So uh, now it's a quadratic, so I can try and factor it. Well, it, it was a quadratic before, but now I've got a 1 there in front of the t, so I can try and factor it. So t and t, things that multiply to 60, 12, and 5, maybe? Yeah, that multiplies to 60. Maybe positive 12, negative 5. Positive 12, negative 5. So now um, uh, the zero principle, something times something is zero. So t plus 12 is zero. Or t minus 5 is zero. So here t equals minus 12. Or t equals positive 5. So a negative time doesn't make sense. And that would be if this parabola was extended over this way. That would be whatever the time was at that side, but that part doesn't make sense because I've got the stone up there. So this part here makes sense. So the time, how long will it take the stone to hit the, hit the ground? Five seconds. Okay, hopefully that helps you with that question.